Hello everyone, I'm Matt Lane, and welcome back to Superman 2. My lazy ass friend won't get his ass back here. Damn it. Never mind, he's back. Welcome back, Holden. Hey, now, how's it going? Oh, you just started filming with the camera. Yeah, okay, cool, 100%. got it. We just got done working out, went and took showers, got some food made, now we're about to hop into it. Well, I don't know what Matt said already, but I was just going to bring up that we're not done with the MCU yet. We'll be hopefully releasing uh, Phase Two, the first video of Phase Two, Iron Man Three, on Saturday. Hopefully, are you really gonna do this? Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, I just don't want to commit. <laughs> we should, we should have it up by Saturday. Today's video is brought to you by some of our wonderful patrons. Everybody that's on screen right now are part of my executive producer tier on Patreon. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do some of this stuff considering I just got furloughed from my job. <laughs> so uh, uh, I have a lot of extra time to be able to make content. And if you would like to help support me, <laughs> uh, you could do that on Patreon. There's a lot of uh, cool behind the scenes perks and stuff. <laughs> very, very... I didn't know you were gonna say that. Got furloughed, so I'm without, the only income I have right now is from YouTube. So I'm gonna be pumping it out here and hopefully I don't become homeless. Uh, uh, anyways, here's Superman 2. Uh. <laughs> Apparently we're watching the Richard Dodder cut, whatever that is. You will bow down before me, jor -El. Both you, and then one day, your ass! <laughs> you think... I'm Superman. <laughs> you wouldn't let me die, Superman. Solitary, incredibly inhumane. Get out of here. That's cool. You are Superman, aren't you? <laughs> Look, we've been through these hallucinations of yours before. I made a mistake because I risked my life instead of yours. Lois? Lois? <laughs> if you'd been wrong, Clark Kent would have been killed. Were they blank? You cannot serve humanity by investing your time and emotion in one human being at the expense of the rest. Will there ever come a time when I've served enough? I, I, at least they get a chance for happiness. Must I finally be denied the one thing in life which I truly desire? All your great powers on Earth will disappear forever. Once this is done, there's no going back. Blood. It's my blood. Uh. Superman, can you hear me? Superman, what? Who is this Superman? Come to me, Superman, if you dare. Forever! <laughs> Son of Jor-El, we were beginning to think you were a coward. He was safe in there. Knowing you, it must have been about Superman. Maybe how he saved the city, or saved the world, or saved the universe. Gee, that's funny. I've never seen garbage eat garbage before. It's a good one. Oh. 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 Oh, I've been uh, working out. Just finished Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. There are so many differences between this cut and the theatrical cut, I've actually forgotten just how different that they are. Matt had a lot of strong feelings, just briefly verbalized them to me, it already pissed me off. 
So Matt, please tell me, what did you think of Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut? Oh, I <laughs> see. Oh, Jenna, you want to go first? I think it's awfully convenient that some randos from another galaxy <laughs> happen to look exactly like us and speak our language. That's more of a technical issue. That's something I would expect Matt to complain about. Easy. What about the movie itself? Was my issue with Superman's hearing during the little battle scene in New York? Because they snuck up on him all the time. Shouldn't he have super he hearing? Oh! Oh! That's a technical issue that the movie already established that he has super hearing. And so she's right and that that's a valid criticism. It's not that the suits were glowing a certain color, Matthew. I was laughing during the scenes when they were doing their lasers thinking about how awkward that must have been to film it because they're literally <laughs> like. <laughs> so I think that it kind of dragged on, but overall I liked it. If you take it so seriously, Matt, I think that it's, it's like. Don't go there. Don't go there. A super corny, horrible movie, but if you realize some of the humor that they sprinkled in there, I think it was a good movie. Nah, I am not going easy on this one. So I want to say that the first half of the movie, I loved it. I thought it was so good. Like, if the first half of the movie would have continued how it went, I would have, like, put this in a very high tier. I gotta tell you, Lois's character in this second movie made her look like the biggest dumbass I have ever seen as, as far as a female supportive role. I'm serious. Like what did she do or say specifically that makes you feel that way? So in the first movie, she didn't realize that it the the car was on E. I disagree. She stopped at the gas station and the gas station blew up. That's true actually. She did. She tried to get gas. Yeah. She acted surprised that the car was stopping and she was like, come on you stupid thing. It was a disaster and she was trying to go. Of course she was hopeful that her car would start, but she realized that it was on E because she stopped at the gas station. She just straight up jumps out of the window. Oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was, I mean, so this happened right after the fact. I was like, dang, she's really not making herself look good. <laughs> Five minutes after she draws the glasses, she's like, you know what? I'm 83% positive that's Superman. <laughs> Sex out, just out of the window. And then to make her look even more unstable, she pulls out a firearm in a hotel and fires Ooh, it at him. Yeah, I, I want to bring that back up because that was different in the theatrical cut. I will say that she redeemed herself and she was like, ha, I got you, they're blanks. I was like, okay, all right, geez, she got him there. So I gave her some points for that. Superman basically asks his dad, how much am I going to have to give? Like, how much am I going to have to give? Yeah, it's when very, is enough enough? Yeah, when is enough enough? Which I think that's very big because you can you can just see how exhausted he is with it. What I don't like, he was like, look, if you do this, you're going to lose your powers. Can't ever get them back. Forever. I took that so literal. So the gravity was there. I actually felt the intensity. I was like, no, Superman, don't go in. Don't lose your powers. When they take the cheap ass route and say that, oh, you're becoming dad, and like there's this back way to get your powers, that's bullshit. I get it that he has a consequence because he's losing his father. He'll never be able to talk to him again. But I just, I don't like it. I think they missed something there. I actually agree with you on this criticism. It's like the first, <laughs> the first time ever. I agree that that was kind of a cheap way to get like his powers back because they were very definitive. If you do this, you will never ever get them back. I disagree with you both. Oh, oh my God. Join the comments, <laughs> Jenna. So I think it's a great example of a father putting in a fail safe to save his son from his own bad decisions. If you are gonna go the, the cheap way of taking back what you said earlier, I think that that was probably the best way to do it. Introducing another consequence, a further consequence that if you get your powers back, we're kind of done, bro. The last act, way too long. I went from like a seven or eight, and then it just kept falling, falling, falling. Some of the acting was a little rough towards the end. Like Lois was like, there was one reaction at the very end and she was like, <gasps> At this point, I was like, all right, I'm giving it like a five out of 10. Oh yeah, we're just turning back time again. Yeah, also different. Same concept in the first movie. I was also like, different, it I, wasn't any theatrical. Yeah, movie. and I, I just, I really, really lost respect for it. And I was like, I feel duped almost. So I, gave, I give this a four out of 10. I said in the Superman, the original Superman video that we did, that I was kind of neck and neck with how much I like liked them both. I honestly think that I prefer the theatrical cut over the Richard Donner cut. That, that might be shots fired for some people. A lot of differences. In the theatrical cut, there is no, the missile that he throws up was not the reason they escaped the Phantom Zone. What was the reason? There was this whole other story of Lois and Clark going to Paris wow. to do some stuff. There was like a terrorist situation, a bomb on like an elevator, and he throws that into space. It's not really any less convenient because a bomb still blows up but it was like a whole different scene. The scene where Lois finds out that he's Superman was not this gun scene. It was this scene they were in their hotel room. Clark drops his glasses into like this little fire, 
reaches in to get them and pulls it out and Lois is like, oh my gosh, your hand and his hand was fine. Oh. So that's how she found out then. There was like a different fight scene at the Fortress of Solitude in the original cut where like Superman throws this like cellophane S thing and like wraps up one of the guys, <laughs> like falls down. I'm glad that they cut it out actually. I think that's it's better they didn't have that. He also did like this kind of weird uh, technique where like he makes himself like in multiple spots, like these powers that he's never had before, but all of a sudden he has now. But they cut it out of this, so I, I did like that. The ending was different. He didn't go back in time to fix everything at the end. You gotta take what you can get, I guess, because he did make Lois forget, but he made her forget by kissing her. And then she just like forgot about everything. That was like some other power we didn't know about. I I don't like that either, wow. but it's like I don't really like him going back in time and changing everything again, and then I don't really like the kissing thing, so that wasn't that great. The going back in time thing makes sense though, because he's trying to keep people from getting hurt. No, 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 no. He's trying to keep people from getting hurt, and he's trying to continue to conceal his identity to keep going on with Lois like undercover. So it makes sense to me that he went back in time to fix everything. You can't turn back time. He he made a point saying like you can't. It's just forbidden for you to enter fair with human history. But in, to Jenna's point, he still broke that in the first movie regardless. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. And I don't think he's right for it then either. So what you're saying is that you wanted the movie to be longer so that they could explain what the consequences was, were of him going back in time. If they didn't have to screw around with time, it wouldn't have been longer. No, no. I just... Checkmate, no, that's what's so. up. I'm actually, Checkmate. I'm actually on Jenna's side on Checkmate. this one. I don't know about that. One thing that you're gonna hate, though, that I actually enjoyed about the Richard Donner cut was him going back to jor -El. And Jarrell being like, you know, he like touches him and kind of puts himself into his son so that he can have his powers back. In the original theatrical cut, that wasn't in there. He literally goes back to the Forces of Solitude. Some time goes by and he comes back and he's Superman. Oh, they did not wow. explain it at all. Talk about, yeah, I did not like that either. So I actually prefer that at least they gave a reason in this one. Best quote of the movie. I've never seen garbage eat garbage Oh before. my gosh. <laughs> Best line ever. And so something that like I would say to like start a fight. <laughs> Cause like I never, like I've never seen garbage eat garbage before. And I'm like, right, that's good, got him. <laughs> but it wouldn't matter because to me it would be hilarious even if everyone else was like, what? <laughs> if you want to help support me right now, it'd be great. Uh, support my Patreon, the link will be in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Consider subscribing if you want to see more fun content like this. Let me know what you think of Matt and Jenna's thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.